Welcome everybody. This is Matt Monarch with the rawfoodworld.com. This hangout is now live. Welcome everybody. Welcome. Welcome. If you have any questions, go to news.therawfoodworld.com backslash live um, to ask all your questions. And um, or if you're here with me on Facebook, you can just ask your questions right here in the chat section and I will answer them. We don't have any, many questions, so go for it and ask them right away. This is my cucumber juice um, that I'm drinking right now. Made from a Norwalk juicer. Mmm. That is good. I drink this like all day long, cucumber juice, low glycemic. It's like I don't drink that much water. I only drink water first thing in the morning. Mm. So for my green cucumbers there. Okay, so um, please ask your questions um, either here on Facebook or at news.therockyworld.com backslash live. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Um, okay. Here is the first question. Are you still in California? Our warehouses, the rawfoodworld.com is in California. Me personally, I'm in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. We do our raw food retreats out here. Um, there's a good chance that I'll be coming back to California next year for a good amount of time. Um, and other places in the US. You know, my little one, Leandra, is about 19 months now. Isn't that crazy? And uh, yeah, so I think we're ready. I think she's ready to travel. Um, so you were saying, if so, do you ever travel to Yosemite? Not really. I live in Fresno and have a raw vegan food truck for the last four years. Wow, percent raw. Like, is it? That's pretty cool. You sell any other things there? How's it going? How's it going? Um, I'm just opening the restaurant this week. Called Raw Fresno. We're having a grand opening Arthop reception October 5th. We'd love to we stop in anytime. Wow, I'm ever in Fresno. I will definitely do that. It's pretty cool. I've been to a lot of raw food restaurants. I've done talks all around the you around the world actually. And uh, raw food restaurants are a lot of fun. Okay, so moving along. MD writes. If you have any questions and you're just tuning in, you can either go to news.therawfoodworld.com backslash live to ask your questions, because we don't have any questions yet, or if you're tuning in on Facebook, um, ask your questions here. Um, if not, then I'm just gonna have to babble for an hour, and I guess that's kind of fun too. Okay, so here we go. Is dragon's blood good for dogs? It depends what you're trying to do for the dog. Um, dragon's blood is at cost on our website, um, every month we have at cost specials. What that is is um, during those times, if you're if one of our vendors is part of our at cost specials, we'll sell ten times more the amount of product we would normally. Um, so our vendors are very excited to be part of our at cost specials, and they're willing to give us a greater discount off the regular wholesale price. And the standard markup in the raw food realm is about, and retail realm in general is about thirty percent, um, thirty five percent. So what we do is are able to sell it at our cost, which is like 30%. If you get three, it's like 37%. Because the vendors want to be part of our cost specials and give us the greatest greater discount to where we are able to do something like that. And this is all the rawfoodworld.com. What's up, Yvette? I see your hello there. Um, use the coupon code rawfood7 for 7% 7 off of any size order at the rawfoodworld.com. Online raw food free store in the world. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're getting questions. Cucumber juice, cucumber water juice. This is just cucumber, there's nothing else in here. I do drink other ones too. Green juice with celery and carrot. Um, but we have a Norwalk juicer here. Like, okay, so this is, if you go to the raw food, I think it's the rawfoodretreat.com. Um, we have a retreat here in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. We do four per year. Every 
time they sell out. <clears throat> the next retreat is December, um, and that already has 30 people in it. Um, it's very profound. People come, they lose incredible amounts of weight while eating lots of gourmet raw food, all sorts of things. Um, it's just a really good way to reset yourself. So we have like a setup here to where we use Norwalk juices, Nor Norwalk juicers. And people have unlimited amount of Norwalk juices during the retreat. Um, but we have the setup here to where, you know, it can have, we, I use a Norwalk juicer. It opens every cell of the vegetable, the Norwalk juicer. It's the, it's the most bioavailable. It like breaks open every cell of the vegetable, unlocking all the nutrition, the microscopic nutrition that our bodies are starving for. So that's that. It is the rawfoodretreat.com. Go check it out. Go check it out. Okay. Okay, so um, someone just asks, why is our unfortified nutritional yeast better than fortified? I will show you right now, as a matter of fact. You ready? Okay. This is our unfortified nutritional yeast. And this is a famous brand's fortified nutritional yeast. Okay, so firstly, what is the difference between these? This one, if you read the ingredients, it says dry yeast, and then there's other ingredients beyond that. If you read the ingredients of ours, it's just dried yeast. Saccharomyces cerevisiae. That's what this is. It's just straight dried yeast. This, on the other hand, is inactive dry yeast, B3, B6, B2, B1, folic acid. You put folic acid in this thing? And vitamin B12. So what they're pretty much doing is they have the yeast, and then they put synthetic vitamins in here with it. All the B vitamins in here are natural occurring. And the difference is, number one, taste. So look, and... Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pour some. Let me see. That this one is like bright yellow and ours is like brown. That's why when you eat too much B vitamins, your pee is like super yellow, when you, especially when you do riboflavin, which is in here. It's synthetic. A little bit of this right here. And then we're going to take a little bit of ours. I mean, people let, ours tastes like nacho cheese. It's like the flavor is really good. This one has a chemical afterbite due to the synthetic vitamins. Um, we have restaurants asking to carry our nutritional yeast because they love the taste. Kids are switching over. They go nuts when they try our nutritional yeast. This is available at the raw food world. Look at this. This is such a joke, guys. Okay, look. I just want to make sure. Okay, there's Facebook. I wanna, okay, look at that. Okay, do you see the difference in color? This is... Honey's our brand. This is Bragg's fortified with synthetic B vitamins. Do you see how bright yellow that is? It would look like this. Because that's what nutritional yeast looks like. And then if you taste them, okay, let's let's taste ours. Tastes like nacho cheese. There's Oh, dude, it's nasty. There's freaking chemical afterbite afterwards. You can, I can't. I can't even eat that anymore. It's nasty. It's like such a chemical afterbite, like on the sides of my tongue and everything like that. Ugh. This is just like pure natural nutritional yeast. No, I could eat this all day long. That stuff's nasty, man. Dude, it's just like clean and it goes, let's just do it again. <laughs> I want to experience it, make sure I'm, yeah. Okay, everything's good so far. And then the aftertaste comes in, it's, it's, it's like there's a chemical afterbite. And now it's nasty, like what the hell? I can't believe I ate that for so long. Anyways, this is unfortified nutritional yeast. This is the color nutritional yeast should look like. This is Bragg's because it has synthetic B vitamins in there. This tastes like nacho cheese. 
clinical afterbite that I used to think tasted good for some reason. Um, we have all these testimonials on our website, um, or actually not on our website, but people writing in, we get them all the time. Even on Facebook, people are writing us. They even took pictures of the difference between them two, and they're like, I can't believe, they're, they went through the same thing that I'm going through right now. I've never even really, I mean, I've done that, but I've never really done it one right after the other. Oh, man. Okay, so um, that was interesting. Wash the rags down. Anyways, they're actually, the new nutrition release is at cost this month, as a matter of fact. Normally $12.99, you get 30% off. Three of these is 37% off. We usually have people buying from for restaurants 100 bags at a time. We're trying to get bulk for them. <laughs> it's crazy. So there you go, Catherine. Do the test at home. Okay, so um, moving right along. Lots of questions. All right. Okay. What kind of dehydrator would you recommend? I have a good. I have a good for me. It's not heating up. Oh, good for me. It's just like a knockoff of the, the Excalibur dehydrators are the best. I've got two in that room right there. I've got all sorts of things going on in there. Maybe I should bring you guys and show you. What do you think? Never done that before. Talking about dehydrators, yeah. I gotta unplug. The light might go off for a second. Hopefully. Okay. So what we're gonna do? Into me, my dehydrator room. Okay. And my dog is sneaking food. Okay, regardless. Dehydrators. Um, okay, so let's take a look. We go to my dehydrator right now. I don't want my phone to die right now. Fall. Okay, so we got nori nachos that were just made. Oh, you guys. These were just made today. So what you could do is like while it's still wet, like roll it up, and it just tastes like gourmet food. Um, it's just like warm and it's just like ridiculously good. If you come down here, those are green cocoa chips. These are Ecuadorian pumpkin seeds. They seriously on this. If you go out on the sides of the streets, um, they seriously you see them picking them from pumpkins. And the pumpkin seeds are way bigger. They're more alive. They turn in, like if you were to sprout these, which I do, they start turning into like a sprout and they'll, you could just like grow pumpkins. I'm trying to get these um, for our website. Pretty much sprouted pumpkin seeds with salt, Himalayan salt on it. I like have these every night for dinner. They're ridiculous. Um, let's see what else we have here. That's a green cocoa. This is a better, this is a better one. This is a nori nacho that's not complete. You could literally, you see how slimy and wet that is? You could literally roll it up, have like this gourmet wrap type thing. Like you just, look at this, you just like roll it up like that. It's like soft and gooey and you just eat that. Um, I'm gonna have that for dinner. I haven't had dinner yet. It's just ridiculous. Hey, by, you know, accidentally uh, tasting a nori nacho before it was ready. Oh, and then there's the nori nachos that are done. Did I show you guys that? I mean, let's get one that's done. Because I have another batch. Araya wasn't happy with these nori nachos because they're not smooth. They're all bumpy. So I had to make another batch today. All we do is put in a, a food processor. Um, macadamia nuts, tomatoes, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, and what else? Let's put this back up here. All sorts of things. Salt. You can put liquid smoke if you want barbecue. Now you got your lighting back. All right. So moving along. Next question. Oh, that was about a dehydrator, and I kind of just went. So the X helper is what I use. Are you getting the benefits of B vitamins with your nutritional needs? Yes, they're, they're natural occurring in here. There are many doctors that are saying when you buy nutritional yeast, get the unfortified. Uh, they're in here. I'm sure that they're higher in here, but how absorbable are synthetic vitamins compared to this? And how on earth do they get synthetic vitamins in here? 
What do they do to the yeast? Why is it so yellow? How does, do they just like take all this yeast and just like shake up like, why would they even want to do that? Just take a beet supplement if you want to do that. Like, what are they thinking? Okay, anyways. But yes, these are natural occurring bioavailable B vitamins. There's B6, there's thiamine, there's niacin, there's phosphorus, there's even iron. 30% selenium, 20% zinc. Those, zinc is not easy to get, and selenium? Dang. Um, yeah, B12 is in here, but it's probably lower amounts than in there, of course. Um, and it's, it's not on here because it's, it's a pretty low amount, but it is in here. We asked, this, we asked our, the growers and stuff like that. Okay. Can you, okay. Okay, yeah, we're on Facebook, okay. Um, you can definitely taste the difference in nutritional yeast, yes. Absolutely. I shared it for you, Matt. Thanks, Paul, you're always hooking me up. Okay, so now back to news.therockfoodworld.com, backslash live, here we go. Where did I leave off? Okay. Hello, Matt, this is Lori. First time, here for a live event. Awesome. Maca powder. Any reason not to take it every day? I find it very helpful. Um, at the gelatinized or the raw? The gelatinized maca, there's, people say that there's an enzyme in maca that can kind of disrupt your, you know, digestive system on some level if you take it every single day. So they recommend like five days a week or three days on, one day off. Um, that's the raw maca. It depends why are you taking it. Um, there's also gelatinized form where that is removed and you can take it every day if you wanted to. Um, the gelatinized maca is more bioavailable. All the dead space, like starch and sugars, are taken out. In the raw maca, all that's intact. It's more of an you get more of the energetic components of that, and it's really good for building muscle mass. Um, but there are a lot of different studies um, done on maca, um, clinical studies that show it's good for, um, depends what color you take, because they each have different properties based on the secondary metabolites they have. But um, it was the gelatinized maca where women, it helped postmenopausal women with their hormones. Um, so guys, I mean, if you, if you want some really good advice, make sure your lady is taking gelatinized maca. Trust me. Anyways, um, so gelatinized maca is awesome. Also, what it does is it breaks open the, the cell walls where the secondary metabolites, which cause these positive chemical reactions in the human body, um, it's that that actually makes these things happen in the clinical studies. Um, red maca has been shown in rats to lower the prostate, so for men, they might want to take the red maca for that, gelatinized. All the clinical studies use the gelatinized or some sort of form like that. Black maca had crazy benefits, improvement in daily sperm production, sperm count, sperm motility, um, good for the thinking, brain, things like that. Okay, so moving along. <clears throat> Hi Matt, you were the inspiration I needed to go 100% raw overnight back in 2010, thanks. Sweet, that's awesome Paula, thank you for sharing. Love to hear stuff like that. Can you advise us on dosages for the CBD, whether we have 250, whether we have the 250 or the 5,000. Okay, so, okay. So I'm a little confused what the question is. You're wondering if you should get the 250 milligram or the 5,000? Um, okay, so what we have here, this is a 2,500 milligram bottle of CBD oil. Hmm. And, this is a 250 milligram bottle of CBD oil. This is extremely potent. We also have a 5,000 gram. Okay, so this 250 milligram bottle of CBD oil is very potent. This is the most one. This is the least expensive and the most popular on our website. People are even getting incredible results with this, um, and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, so, what is in this bottle? is 250 milligrams of CBD. In the same size bottle, 
This one has 2,500 milligrams of CBD oil. So if you were to take one dropper full of this CBD oil, no, if you were to take one dropper, yeah, if you were to take one dropper full of this 2,500 CBD oil, it'd be, ta it'd be like taking 10 dropper fulls of this 250 milligram CBD oil bottle. As soon as I take a, this 250 milligram bottle, I feel it. This stuff is, this is the only 100% raw CBD oil that I know of on the market. Um, it's very potent. We've had crazy amounts of testimonials come in. People, it's helped people with pain. pain. Um, CBD receptors, okay, so CBD oil activates all sorts of receptors in the human body. Everybody knows it activates CB1 and CB2 receptors, which are in our brain, our immune system, and throughout our colon. That's why people, it, maybe it's helping with migraines. It also binds to serotonin receptors. Hence why it helps people with anxiety, and maybe that's why it's helping with migraines. It's unknown. Laura Logano, who is an expert in on cannabis, medicinal cap cannabis, she says since they're in the colon, it can help close the junctions of leaky gut. Um, so we it also is good. Um, it binds to calcium uptake receptors, so it helps with calcium absorption. Trip receptors, TRP receptors, that is responsible for pain and temperature. So why a lot of people get relief from pain from CBD oil is because of, it activates those receptors. Um, it actually binds to cancer cell receptors, causing death of the cancer cell um, in clinical studies in the Petri dish. Um, it's biphasic, meaning that if you take a small dose, it fo makes you focus. If you take a large dose, it helps you sleep really well. People have been, entertainment industry people contact me, they say they um, they take that this has been helping them sleep and it's like it's changed their lives just based on getting better sleep. There was one woman, um, one girl who had some sort of disorder. She never sleeps well. She's always in pain. She took this and she said she had the best sleep she's ever had in like years and her mom was extremely grateful. Um, so back to the original question. So when, to, to activate these receptors, you don't need to take crazy amounts of CBD oil if that's what you're trying to do. Like it depends like what you're trying to accomplish. Um, if you're trying to like bind to all the cancer cells, you might want to do more. I don't know. If you're just if you're wanting to sleep better, then you probably want to do more. If you're just wanting to um, activate these receptors, you can save money and just take smaller amounts consistently. And it's called titration. A little bit goes a long way. You take some, it goes in, activates receptors, and then you do it again. In small amounts. That's why so many people have such good results with the 250 milligram bottle. So what you can do is if you if you if you take 10 drops of the 250 milligram bottle and you want to buy a higher dosage, you can just take instead of 10 drops, all you have to do is take one drop to get 10 drops of this. And if you want to go big time and get a lot within your system at once, then you go for, with the bigger bottles. I love this stuff. Okay, so that's that. Let's see if I answered the question completely. <clears throat> okay, so there you go. I think I answered your question. Okay, Virginia writes, will you be having your royal jelly powder available again? What is your opinion on the angel juicer? Okay, so the Norwalk juicer is the best. The next best juicers are the twin gear juicers. Um, the Green Star juicer is more economical than the angel juicer. The Angel Juicer is supposedly like the Ferrari, and the Green Star is kind of like, a, like you know, it's a nice one, but it's not like as, but they're both, I, I personally choose the Green Star just because it's half the price, does just as good of a job. Um, yeah, and I still strain them, all the juices. In terms of the Royal Jelly Powder, um, I was thinking of just doing the Frozen Royal Jelly. It seems like more people gravitate towards that. But... We can see what we can do. Okay. Do you peel peeling nuts before eating them into butter? <laughs> you are asking the peeling nut master. Let me show you guys. <clears throat> okay, so we carry organic raw peeling nuts on our website. Um, I like to keep them in the freezer. This, there's no other nut on the planet that has more fat compared to the peeling nut. 
And what I like to do is before I eat it is I don't peel them, but just for fun, sometimes I'll just like, and then I'm, I'm, I, I take the peel off and I eat the peel. And then I pop this in my mouth and it's, um, it's so much fat. Okay, so what I did was I like to make nut butters. We have a stone grinder here for our retreats and just for you know me and my girls. So I did peeling nuts, right? And then I put it in the refrigerator because of the high fat content, it turned into like a chocolate consistency, like a chocolate bar. And it, the, the skin makes it brown. The inside is white. So it's almost like I eat these straight from the freezer. It has almost like a chocolate bar consistency on some level. But when you stone grind it into a nut butter, it falls and it's like chocolate. You have to add ingredients to make it sweeter. I like to do a little glycemic stuff. So I put carob to make it taste like chocolate with mesquite to make it sweeter. And that combination is ridic ridiculous. And let me show you. I eat this every day. This is like, I didn't, I was lazy. I don't put things in chocolate molds. It's just like, this is peeling nuts with carob and mesquite in it. And it melts kind of fast, but not too fast. Not like coconut oil. And I added chia to it to give it like the Nestle Crunch Bar taste. And I added salt. And I did 50% peely butter, 50% chia. And it's just, I live off this stuff sometimes. Sometimes I'll just like eat that as an entire meal. Okay, so here we go. Moving right along. Matt, in regards to the hair loss kit, Will taking dim for so long cause thyroid problems due to that cabbage extract? And how long should one keep the dim to regulate hormones for life? Okay, so dim, uh, we have a hair loss kit. And we put dim inside of it. Now, me personally, I was doing lots of research on hair loss. I know it looks like I have a lot of hair. You know, my hairline started to recede a little bit, so I was freaking out. I was trying to figure out what I could do. And through my research, I discovered all the nutrients needed for hair growth. Um, my hair's grown pretty long since I've uh, done the things in the hair loss kit, like crazy long, never grew past a certain point. Um, I also, the organosilica is in there, and I, that's like one of the major reasons why I think this happened. Most people, excuse me, are deficient in um, silica. And that's responsible for collagen and growing hair. I mean, this is getting ridiculous. Every week it gets longer, guys. I mean, I'm gonna cut it though. I need to cut it just so I could, I want like this to go down further because it's thinner down here and thicker up here. Okay, anyways. So the hair loss kit consists of lots of products for the nutrients needed um, for, the, um, for your hair. Now this DIM product is more useful for preventing male pattern baldness and alopecia. So what is, what is DIM? Um, okay, so what this is, this is a 250 milligram pill of DIM. When you take this, it's like taking two and a half, gram, two and a half pounds of cruciferous vegetables at one time, one of these pills, which is good for the human body on one level. Um, you don't want to take too much cruciferous, as we all know. Um, like maybe Joe is saying, I don't think you're going to have issues with your thyroid by taking this amount, just one pill a day. If you do more than one pill, I'd suggest not to do that. Then you might want to look into that. You don't want to be doing more than one pill. Um, but anyways, so there's an enzyme called alpha reductase, 5-alpha reductase. And what that does is it converts testosterone into a very potent testosterone called DHT in the human body. And it's the DHT that causes male pattern baldness and alopecia. Now, what we would want to do to stop that in its tracks is find an enzyme help inhibitor of 5-alpha reductase so it stops its conversion to DHT, the testosterone DHT. And cruciferous vegetables is, is where that enzyme inhibitor is found. So this is like taking two and a half pounds of cruciferous vegetables at one time. 
I mean, anybody could buy this on any website there is. The FDA approves it due to that, or they wouldn't be allowing it. You know, just don't do more than the recommended dosage, which is one pill per day. And we should be golden. Okay. <clears throat> And if you don't have male pattern baldness or alopecia, then maybe you don't need this part. You can just buy all the other components of the hair loss kit, which is available there. Like, for example, the organosilica, which is the most bioavailable silica on the planet. Condinate or quintessential, they're the same product. Minerals the human body needs, the most bioavailable mineral supplement on the planet. Um, there's nutritional yeast in there. For those of you just tuning in, we were doing a Bragg's Experiment versus a fortified with synthetic vitamin B vitamins, nutritional yeast, versus our nutritional yeast, which is unfortified. I just tasted both on camera. This tastes like really good. <laughs> Let me do it again. It's like I could do this all day. And we're going to let the aftertaste go. Just tastes really good. Like really good. Let it keep going. And then you do that with this one. I can't believe I'm even putting this in my system again. It tastes good at first, and then when you let it, oh, and then you let it sit there, and then it has this chemical afterbite. I can't believe I used to eat this all the time. This is, it's disgusting, dude. It's like I have this nasty taste in my mouth now from eating this one. The, the ye bright yellowness is because they add synthetic vitamins to it, and it has the chemical afterbite. It's just disgusting, dude. All right. Moving right along. Catherine writes, good to know about the nutritional ease. It only has taken me 20 years to find out about synthetic vitamins added to nutritional ease. I didn't know that. And a lot of the times, guys, like synthetic vitamins are not nearly as good as like, you know, regular vitamins. Because like, for example, if you buy vitamin C tablets, which is usually like absorbic acid, there's like many other components to vitamin C that you're not getting. There's like way more components that are responsible for collagen, like uh, tyro tyrosinase, which is a copper component of the, the whole vitamin C. You're like totally missing out on that. And there are other factors in there too. I think there's one called the J factor and other factors. Okay, let's take a look here. Looks like Huber's on both. Okay. Okay, so this is a great question. Catherine writes, what are some things that increase dopamine and serotonin. Okay, so our CBD oil activates serotonin receptors. So that would be a big thing. That's why some people have relief from anxiety. And then um, over here, my new concoction, which I'm gonna show you about, tell you about in a second. Or one packet of herbs, so I can show you. I don't know they get some. Oh, there they are. Okay. Okay, so as many of you know, we have an Ayurvedic line of herbs. The RothaWorld.com herbs. So what I did was I got one of each packet here. And I put them in here and mixed them. In a, like I mix them all together. This is like 11 different herbs of our part. As many of you know, our, our Ayurvedic herbs, compared to any other company out there, even like the most popular dragon's herbs, our raw food competitors, if you were to take a of our leading competitors, Bacopa, you'll be fine. If you were to take a half a teaspoon of ours, you will have the runs due to how potent it is. We use a two-story, a machine the size of a two-story building to get extract these herbs um it's kind of it's pretty much the same exact machine you know being the largest online raw food super student super first in the world we have access to equipment like this um we kind of piggyback on you know like it, it's like the same kind of um machine that the pharmaceutical companies use to create their craziness but anyways um these are the three i did put in here um, for example, white kidney bean extract. 
Um, I didn't put that in here because this is pretty much like a starch blocker and I don't need that. A starch blocker is, what it will do is it'll, it'll block the enzymes so um, your body doesn't absorb the starch. So it's like kind of like a weight loss technique to where you might get a little bit more gas, but nothing bad. Um, to where if you, it's really, you eat it when you have carbs, which is one of the major things for gaining weight, carbs. So people eat this with it, it's a starch blocker. Um, Caroluma is another weight loss thing that's not something I really want or need. It's weight loss aid. And then moringa leaf powder is just a food. I didn't want to put that in my herbal thing. But everything else is in here. And when I, <laughs> this is like 10 bags. Like these things like, seem small, right? But it turned into this. So every morning, I started two days ago, I'm taking seriously like a quarter teaspoon immediately when I take it, my brain, it like burns in your mouth because of how potent this is. My brain just goes, bing. Like I've never experienced, I'm like, I don't know what's going to happen to me after taking this for three months. I'm going to report back to everybody. Here, I'll do it right now. Let's take a little bit. This is a mixture of all of our herbs into one. Like that's all I'll take. I'll, I'll do a little high dosage right now for everybody. I know I do this. Okay, this is ridiculous. If you think I'm flying right now on raw food energy, right now I'm about to just go through the roof. I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm probably a little bit too intense for people right now as it is. Woo! Man, I just like, it's almost like invigorating. It's like I feel like, um, it's like Micron. It just like absorbs immediately. I just feel this like boom, this energy boost. Like 10, 11, 12 different herbs in there, all like going at the same time. I'm a little insane, I, I do these experiments. Woo! That's really good for the brain, feel it. It's got go-to cola, Google, Shilajit. And the reason why I've been, I'm even telling you this, I got excited. Because someone asked me what you can take to increase dopamine and serotonin levels, um, macunia is in there. There's no macunia on the market like ours. It's crazy. You take macunia and bacopa together, that's good for activating the third eye. That combination, on that at some point. Oh man, that was good. Anyways, um, macunia has L-dopa in it, which is a precursor to dopamine. So our Macunia 20%, which is really potent, the most potent, it's like crazy potent, you'd want to get that from our website. TheRawFoodWorld.com. Use the coupon code RAWFOOD7% for 7% off. Oh, dude, that feels so good. I don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight, but that's all right. Okay. I think ashwagandha is good for serotonin um, levels. Healthy diet with the CBD oil. Okay. What are some supplements you recommend for putting on muscle mass, including any adaptogens? Um, but also, um, Cissus, which is also in here. It's an herb we have on our website. Lots of bodybuilders use that. MSM is for good for recovery, but Cissus is C-I-S-S-U-S. C-I-S-S-U-S. That's in here right now. Dang, man. Bam. Okay. Okay. Okay, so someone's asking about um, increasing fertility. Or mostly, did you stick to your diet? I mean, yeah, I just, I, I just stick to my diet. Um, but there are things like the black maca we talked about, black gelatinized maca which increases jelly sperm production. And is it on the man's side or the woman's side there who specializes in fertility? I remember interviewing her once. Can't remember her name. But just, you know, type in fertility expert. Okay. Raw, finding, taking the raw, finding it helps with mood, energy, overall feeling, well-being. We'll order gelatinized as I want it every day. Okay, so she's been, the raw maca, you know, there really hasn't been clinical studies done on raw maca. I'm sure it's good, but I'm just saying the differences there. Man, dude. 
half a teaspoon. So I almost can't even contain it. Okay. For those of you just tuning in, I, this is my um, herbal concoction. I put all of our herbs in here. This turmeric, or it's not turmeric, it's turmeric extract. There's like 15 different herbs in here. What else do I have in here? Okay, let's move on. Anything for gray hair. Thanks, Matt. Gray hair. So um, I started taking supplements. I'll probably do a promotion on it sometime soon. I'll show you what I'm taking right now. Um, okay. He Shao Wu. Um, we have this on our website too. He Shao Wu. Um, I started taking this every day. I'm still trying to test it. And then SOD, SOD, which is um, superoxide dismutase. This creates something like uh, some sort of hydrogen peroxide reaction in the human body, which prevents from gray hair happening. And this is like taking the component. This is like, this creates it naturally. This is like uh, taking um, the component that this creates. Um, but this is like a, this is what I do. I experiment with things on my own before I bring it out. So um, if you want to experiment with me, hope your hair doesn't turn green or fall onto the floor or anything like that. Um, I'm pretty crazy with sort of, you know, things like this. But the internet says it's good. But I'll find out. It seems like my gray hair is going away. Okay. My body loves the royal jelly powder so much more than the frozen royal jelly. And I found yours to be much more potent than the royal jelly powder you first carried from another company. It's like way more potent. I hope our frozen royal jelly is way more potent too. It's actually been tested to be the highest available and it's the only USDA certified organic royal jelly out on the market, the frozen one. And it has the highest 10 HDA level available. I will hope you make it available again. I don't understand why more people would prefer the frozen and powder is so much more effective. It is like having it on steroids because it's like you freeze dry it and it's like maybe it was the price since I think the frozen. The, one of the issues is um, the we the minimums on that type of product is just like huge. Um, perhaps you could promote royal jelly powder more, and more people would appreciate the benefits. Okay, we're moving back to Facebook in a second, everybody. This is the last question on this side. Looks like I need the ten pack mix you just told about. Still <laughs> with. 10 bags on the site. Yeah. Um, okay, let's go to the website, and I'll tell you exactly which ones I put in here. I don't have ashwagandha in here because we sold out, but there's more on the way. As soon as I get ashwagandha, I'm going to throw it in there and just like shake the bottle and mix it in. Um, okay, let's look. The rawfoodworld.com. Um, supplements, and then our 100% potent herbs okay so this is what i put in here i'm gonna tell you right now this is my concoction if you're just tuning in i don't know what it feels like i'm on okay, i don't think i didn't put that in there i would have okay bacopa that's brain i didn't put coffee bean extract in there shilajit macunya i did actually one macunya 20 percent and one macunya 10 percent. that stuff is so good um it also like just took my mucus away turmeric extract um, amla, that's a very high antioxidant. Um, Boswellia, I put in there. Carolum, I didn't. Cissus, I put in there. We were just talking about like go to cola, another brain. Google or Google, I don't know, I spell it. G U G G U L, I put in there. Basil? I don't even know what was here. I think I did. Yeah, holy basil was in the tribulus, I put in there. It's good for muscle, but that's a good one for muscle building, whoever asked. Trifala I put in there. Anyways, moving right back along. Um, we do have on our website, I don't know, oh, it's not there anymore because we're out of some of the herbs. There's like a 19 pack where you get one of each for a better deal. Okay, so here we go. For those of you just turning in, we did a Brad's yellow chemical afterbite nasty taste, which I'll never even put in my mouth again, except for right now to give you guys another experiment to show you how disgusting it is versus our unfortified nutritional yeast. Look at the color difference. This is just gross. This is the brags on this side. It's just fortified. There's like, there's um, synthetic vitamins in there. This just tastes like nacho cheese. I could eat it all day. 
Tastes good. No chemical aftermath. It's so good. I could sit there. I'm gonna look at the next question. I'm gonna sit there. Let it let the after base after taste come in. Still good. Everything's great. And then I go like this. I can't believe I'm doing this again. It tastes fine at first, kind of. Everything's good right now. And then right now, it just the the chemical aftertaste just came in and knocked my sides of my tongue and the back of my tongue. This stuff is nasty. I was getting a little nervous there for a second. I'm like, oh my gosh, the, after, the aftertaste isn't happening this time. And then boom, it hit. It's disgusting, dude. This is disgusting. I need another cucumber juice. <gasps> okay. Okay. That stuff down. Okay, um, next question. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, is the royal jelly better for your B vitamins versus nutritional yeast? I would think so. It depends what kind of B vitamins you're getting. B12, yes. B1, I don't know about that. This is like really good for B1. And B1 is critical. That's like good for um, helping cortisol levels so you can like have less stress. Um, it's good for the parasympathetic nervous system, that's why. Um, and other things, this is just really a good one. Why is royal jelly so energizing? I cannot figure out how it works. Okay, so royal jelly has like magical energetic components in it. First off, the um, is very powerful and it's the most potent in ours. Um, and that's like another magical, that's probably one of the things that makes you feel so good, but it's just like a lie. It's just like a very, it has, it's very high in life force. So that's like, it, it practically burns when you put it on your tongue. So that's why you get like a bing. My herbal concoction will give you a bing too. Okay. It's one of the three magic foods. I literally have to dream to take royal jelly and took it and then won $2,500 later that morning on a radio show called Moho in the Morning. <laughs> that's funny when you show us stuff. <laughs> what did I show you? I showed you things all day long. I showed you the, my dehydrators with all the different things I'm making. We went through the nutritional yeast, the differences, my herbal concoction, peeling nuts, I've been peeling chocolate. I live the lifestyle. I've been on a 100% raw diet for almost 20 years now. There's not many left. I, I think I'm the last, actually. All the other guys out there, they admit to eating 80% raw, nonstop. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Okay. Matt, the first bottle of CBD oil I used helped me so much. The second bottle is currently using is not producing the same results. Is there a chance the quality could fluctuate by batch? It'll fluctuate by batch. I see it at 250 milligrams. You can even send it off to the lab, but there's 250 milligrams in there. Um, it's kind of like when somebody takes a product that they're deficient in. Like, for example, all these people are going to be taking the organo silica now. And they're in that. So all of a sudden, like my hair grew like crazy. The, my friends, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Look at this. Anyways, so my friends um, have been taking it too, and their hair is growing faster than normal. Like after even two months, we noticed a difference. And 
Okay, so they're deficient in silica. Silica is, you know, you need that every, your body doesn't produce on its own, so you gotta replenish it every day. That's why I like to take it every day. But once you're not deficient in anything, your body gets all the results from it. You're good now. You see what I'm saying? I mean, you wanna continually put it in. So, for example, when you take the silica product, you're gonna get crazy results at the beginning. Actually, I think it'll be ongoing just because of the nature of silica. But for example, um, other nutrients like um, B12 vitamins. There's this one woman who couldn't methylate B12 proper, properly. She had a mutation. Um, her sister saw me at a talk. She bought my B12 patches um, and threw one on her on here. And she was bedridden that day due to lack of energy. And as soon as she put the B12 on, she was up. And she was like sweeping the floor and was like up all day with all this amount of energy because she got the B12 um, that was lacking. So if she like is not lacking anymore, that was like a huge energy boost at first. Like she got major benefit from it. And um, now she's getting it on an ongoing basis. This is just her new level of life. It's like an improved level of life. It's kind of like the raw food diet. A lot of people, they go on the raw food diet at first. They feel incredible. They're doing, it's amazing. Like all this mucus comes out, you could breathe better, you could see better, you feel better, you feel more light. And then this becomes your everyday norm. And then you become used to it every single day. And then you're like, hey, why don't I feel good anymore? It's just like we're continually trying to get more and more and more and feel good all the time. It's like, oh, this isn't working anymore. And they go back and forth and they mess themselves up or whatever they're, whatever they're doing. So it's like, um, especially when you first start taking a product, you feel great. This is one of the reasons why I like to switch products up. For example, one day I'll take KG Central to get my minerals. And then another day, I'll bring food supplement. It's just like a, a variety. And then when I take something I haven't taken in a while, I fly. I mean, the silica, I, like, this is just ridiculous. I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> I'm overdoing the silica. Like, like it's just like it, it doesn't stop. So I just keep downing it and downing it and downing it. Okay. Because I think, like, if I cut my hair, it will even go faster. It just grows faster. Okay. So that's my conclusion on why the CBD oil, the second bottle, didn't do as much as the first. It's the same exact stuff. What is the best, what is best to wash your hair and body with? The main thing is natural products. What happens is a lot of people are doing chemical creams, chemical shampoos, and they might get immediate beauty results. But in the long term, it can hurt, it can like degrade your skin or degrade your hair. It's like chemicals and stuff like that. So you want to use like plant intelligence in order to um, for your beauty. Um, we're actually doing a promo tomorrow. Um, that's going to be really big. It's um, it doesn't have shampoo in it actually. It's going to be a living living libations promo at cost products. It's going to be like the best one we've ever done. But these are all natural products. Um, you just gotta look for natural things. If you want something in between, um, I mean, we, I, I've been using this product, Soine. I like to have my like suds come everywhere. It's a completely natural product. I'll use that um, and their conditioner, which have, we have on our website. But yeah, in this interview that I'm doing tomorrow with a professional makeup artist who's been doing it for, you know, she's been a makeup artist for, dec for a decade. She's been on like all these news channels. Um, NBC, Eyewitness News, she's worked for reality television shows, all these other things. We picked her top 20 living libations products, we put them at cost, and um, we, it's, you can even get the kit to where this is what she does on a daily basis. It's, it's, this can like, well, without the chemicals, um, hopefully it, it takes sunspots away, blood, broken blood vessels. Um, if you want to see the promo early, I can't believe I'm doing this. You go to the rawfoodworld.com. There's going to be like a whole entire newsletter tomorrow. If, first off, if you're not on our newsletter list, you want to go to the rawfoodworld.com address in one of the newsletter list sections. They're all the same. Um, and then you'll get the newsletter tomorrow. Um, but it's, it's going to be really good. There's going to be a video with it. The video is unlisted on YouTube right now, but if you go to this method that I'm telling you right now, you can view it early, unlisted. Um, you go to the rawfoodworld.com. You click on raw beauty. Beauty 
category. You click living libations, and then you're going to be like a kid in a candy store. Um, you might want to wait. The video will be there. It's there right now. Um, you might want to wait for the newsletter so you get a better understanding of how this is all going to work. Um, but there, I blew it. Okay. So here we go. <clears throat> any, any desire to use that energy in the weight room experiment where you work out body weight calisthenics and put on some muscle? I personally am a lazy, per, I, I'm, a, I'm the type of guy who likes to be lazy when I work out. Um, so I, I use this really effective method, like every five days, I heavy, and then I recover for five days, and then I'll lift heavy again. So it's almost like 1.25 times a week I work out, and it's, it's effective. You know, I, I've got muscle for a rough this. So Donna? Okay, do you have black salve? Do you know where this product? Do you know about this product? Yeah, black salve, you gotta be very careful with. You gotta be very careful with it. Dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> um so black salve. People have put on certain tumors and it draws the tumor out of the skin and like there's this huge, it like draws it out of the skin, it comes out. It's like bulge, like it, like that means if the tumor's that big, bulge is gonna come out. <laughs> it's, it's almost like there's gonna be a bullet hole, bigger than a bullet hole in your skin as you do something like this. I mean, if you look at like in shamanistic traditions, um, they have used this type of thing overdo it and it practically killed them like putting on one more than one area just stuff like that you gotta be extremely careful i've seen like it almost looked like a face coming out of somebody once it's like there's other ways to do stuff like that um Anyways, it's just you gotta be very careful with that thing. Okay, no, I don't carry it for that purpose. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Okay. Some people say nutritional yeast is good for increasing mother's milk. Someone says jelly in smaller amounts than kilo. Maybe someday. We did in the past actually. Maybe on the next order we can do something like. What is a good thing to take for acne? Vitamin A, carrot juice. However, it's more important versus what you're taking versus what you eliminate from your intake. I used to have bad acne, and then I went on a raw food diet, eliminated refined sugars and processed starches, did some colonics and enemas to help the withdrawal process at that time, immediately. But you can't be eating that stuff anymore. That's the cause of the acne. So you've got to eliminate refined sugars and processed starches. That's like sugar, sodas. That. I think we've, we've discussed something like this in the past. I'm not sure if this is the first, your first time here. Um, but bread, instead of, salads are key in terms of being healthy. If you're gonna eat an animal protein sandwich on bread, take, get rid of the bread, take the animal protein and put it in a salad. Put as much avocado, tomatoes in there, whatever you want, all as you want, um, that's the key. So you gotta eliminate like stuff like that. Have, if you go to, Crystal, if you could post the Whole Foods diet on both um, links here, that'd be great. If you can eliminate everything from your diet, what's on this list, you're on a cooked Whole Foods diet, raw and cooked whole, cooked whole Foods. And that's like the key to being healthy, drugs in the long run, avoiding becoming incapacitated, senile in the long run. It's just what we do. It's the best insurance plan you can do is eliminating processed foods. Um, refined sugars and processed starches, trans fatty acids, things like this. And there's lots of good foods on there, such as eggs, baked potatoes as a whole food, brown rice, brown rice pastas. Pastas are out the door, but you can do brown rice pasta. 
and your taste buds change over time. It's a very easy thing to do. And then just eat as many salads as you can. Make them as big as you want. And then your acne will go away over time. And as you with, go through withdrawals, if you're willing to do enemas or clonics every once in a while, waste out. Because it's that waste that causes, it's like just coming off the skin. Okay. Hey, Matt, who have been with some of your biggest idols, influencers in the health world? I mean, I've gotten information from a lot of people in the past, um, but I kind of just do my own thing now. I don't really like to idolize. Um, you know, people that have helped me in the past was Dr. Fred Bishi, um, you know, and then, you know, just like there's a lot of natural doctors that I watch videos now. I mean, I don't like, you know, I, I like watch some guy, for example, um, who has really good information. It's like, I can't believe you just said that. Like, are you, you're directing people in the wrong way. You know, there's this ego thing going on. But regardless, yeah, it's like you just got to take the good and eliminate the bad. Um... Okay. Hi, Matt. I've been losing my hair for years. It's real thin now. It's driving me crazy. I'd like to have long hair again. I live in the UK and I used to have long hair, but while my hair was thinning, I had to cut. How did you get your hair so long? I'm 31 years old, looking like a 50 year old. I, I am using Rogaine, but I want to block my DHT completely. Okay, number one is you don't want to be using Rogaine. <laughs> that means your diet's probably off. Um, Crystal, maybe you could send put the link for the the one I did on hair loss, the hair loss kit. Um, you might want to like massage your head with a brush that will make it stronger. You could stand on your head too to like massage bring the blood there. Organo Silica is a product on our website that's actually, I haven't even raised the price yet. You guys, it's still at the discounted price. Anyways, um, so you can, you can get, that's like probably the best thing for hair growth. But the whole hair loss kit would be good. Okay, so I heard that back, Black cell has healed skin cancer. Yeah, I've also heard it doing other things and hurting people at the same time. But yeah, I mean, in shamanistic traditions, what I was saying is they say that, can't, that um, when a person has like a, a, a spiritual opening, things can kind of like go in and like latch on to maybe their thyroid or something like this due to being freaked out or something. I don't know. And it, they could drain energy and cause the actual physical ailment. And they actually say that cancer is a black is like this dark black spirit that overtakes a person and it's because we're doing something we're probably not supposed to be if you're looking at this from a spiritual standpoint and then you know you'd want to do is to stop doing what you're doing and make changes and stuff like that that's like the main thing we could do um and if you do this black sob remove this thing but you continue to vibrate the way you do and things like that then i mean that's if you want to look at you know the metaphysical realm and things like that so that's one aspect. Okay, I heard that black cell healed skin cancer. Okay. Okay, guys, it's been an hour. Um, I see you, Sammy. Um, okay, let's try to dig deep here. We're gonna do this last question and we're done. Hey, Matt, any thoughts about finding happiness? So what I'm getting is, stop worrying about worldly things. Thank you, Jesus Christ, baby. And this is Matt Monarch. It's been fun. It's eight o'clock here, nine o'clock in New York City. This is Matt Monarch. We do this every single Tuesday night, and we'll see you next time.